First up, Ode. Hi, AP. How you doing? Uh, I was going to ask you, when you look at a team like U of A, obviously you look at the numbers, much more proficient running the ball than passing the ball. But uh, is that the type of offense where you have to be careful where they don't lull you to sleep with, you know, seven runs in, seven runs in a row and then hit you with a uh, play action pass? Yeah, I mean, I think we learned our lesson uh, last year and the year before being here. Uh, they're a team that's, you know, pretty dynamic at the running back position. I've done a great job there over the years of running the ball, Sumlin and their offensive coordinator, and it's no different this year. I mean, you see it, you see run, 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 and you see bubble and go, you see screen and go, you see a guy run up the seam or on the outside. Uh, they're pretty dynamic, to be honest, uh, on the outside. They got some guys that can do a good job running after catch. So it goes back to basics, you know, have your eyes in the right place, read your keys, and do your job. Chris. AP, this transition to a four-man front has uh, yielded a lot of sacks, tackles for losses in, in two games. Uh, what's your sense about how that's actually looking and, and just functioning um, so far? Yeah, I mean, it's given some guys some great opportunities to get some more one-on-ones. Uh, I don't think you've seen us doing a lot of twisting in games. We're going more vertical uh, charges, getting after the quarterback in a more direct line. Uh, it's been productive. I mean, it's been pretty good. You know, obviously Tyler Johnson had a heck of a game. Jermaine Lole the week before. And the rest of those guys have been great lunch pail type players. You know, and I mean that in, in a positive way with Matus. He comes to work. He's making plays consistently. Shannon Foreman. Uh, can't say enough about DJ and TJ, what they've done inside as well. I mean, for our backers, I, I told them they're, they're playing with a good group in front of them now. Gives them the opportunity to go ahead and run and tackle. But uh, hats off and kudos to Rob Rodriguez. We've been talking about it. All spring and all summer now, the proof's in the pudding. He's actually put it to the field and the film for everybody to see. Zach. Hey, Coach, appreciate your time this morning. I know your name's Antonio Pearson, not Tyler Johnson, but can you tell us a little bit about what uh, what that week, what that weekly uh, award means to him for a guy who really did not even want to play this season initially? Well, I don't know if he didn't want to play or if he didn't want to do spring ball. There's a difference. Um, but you got to love Tyler. Since we've been here, he's never been to spring ball, but it's okay. Um, for Tyler, man, you know, he's a guy who he needs to be engaged. He needs something to motivate him. And I think the transition from linebacker to playing DN, uh, putting his hand in the dirt again, he gained a little bit of weight. And obviously, as you can still see, he's still athletic and freaky fast and, and slick. But I think the transition has been smooth. But I think the motivation has always been there for Tyler to play on Sundays. And he has the ability and the physicality to do it. It's a mindset, it's a mental thing for him. And once he's dialed in, uh, there's not too many guys running around the Pac-12 that's built like him, that moves like him. Uh, obviously last year, being last few years being a linebacker with me, I thought he did a tremendous job of who we, what we asked him to do. Uh, blitzing, covering the backs, dropping in coverage, did a heck of a job. And now we're asking him to do one thing, go get the quarterback and, and set the edge. And he's doing that at a very premium level right now. Jacob. AP, Arizona's running back Gary Brightwell is averaging almost five yards a carry this season, and they've been pretty effective overall with their run game. What are you seeing from the way that they run the football, and kind of how do you approach defending something like that? Yeah, he runs mad. He runs angry. He runs aggressive. He's downhill. He's fast. He's elusive. Um, we thought the back last week from UCLA was pretty good. Well, you turn on the tape, and damn, this guy's pretty good too. Um, so we'll have our hands full. Uh, we got another gang tackle. He's a big back. 6'1", 200 plus pounds, and he runs with attitude. I like him. You know, I wish he was a linebacker. I would have took him, you know, maybe recruited him and played linebacker here. But, you know, that's what kind of mentality is going to be. It's going to be a linebacker game. Uh, for us to be successful up front is when we're going to have to stop the run. 11 hats on the ball. The front seven will have to play well. The backers will have to play downhill, be heavy-handed, and, and knock them back. Michelle. Uh, Coach, what is the status of Jack Jones? Uh, any update on his availability? And uh, now that you don't have Crosswell, too, what about – you? obviously, it's a place you've got a lot of depth. Yeah, yeah, just status quo on those guys. Where, who's ever here, as long as we got 11 on the field, we'll be okay. Zach. Coach, DJ Taylor was, a, was someone that I'm sure a lot of ASU fans didn't even know was on the roster. And then on special teams, he lit it up. Uh, we don't hear from Coach Slocum this week. Can you tell us a little about what you've seen in DJ so far, uh, not only through his defensive back play, but also transitioning to special teams? Uh, I mean, even transition now to running back. I mean, he, we recruited uh, DJ as an athlete out of Florida, uh, tremendously gifted athlete. If you turn on a, a highlight tape, you'll see him doing everything, everything, quarterback, running back, wildcat, uh, receiver, special teams, DB. He did it all. That's why we recruit him because he can play multiple positions. Uh, he started off at defensive back force. 
Um, and as crazy as it sounds, as talented we are in that running back room, we felt that he'll help us in the running back room as well. So he is now transitioned to being a running back. And then you sit there and you watch pre-practice, and he's catching these punts, and he's catching these um, kickoffs. And it's like, wow. So you throw him back there and say, okay, if we didn't do it in game one. And then in game two, I think he showed everybody what he has. He has elite speed. He has a knack to find his way through holes. His acceleration, he's a thicker body kid. Now. He's about 190, 195. So he's not a small guy. He fits well into what we want to do here as a program, having athletes and being able to play some different positions. Jacob. Tyler Johnson had said before the season that he was entering the year with a better mindset than he feels he ever has going into a football season. Was there a moment for you where you kind of noticed a change for him as far as the mental aspect of the game goes? And, and did you notice that make an immediate change for him on the field as far as his physical performance went? Yeah, I, I kind of noticed a change when we were at a basketball game. Josh Christopher was here on his recruiting trip and Tyler Johnson was following me around. And I was wondering why, because he was just a student at that point, no longer an athlete. Um, but he hit it at that point that, you know, his mind, his body was fresh and that he was ready to come back. And it just took him some time. And he finally walked in the office, talked to Coach Edwards, and the rest is history. But, you know, like I always said, Tyler's a guy who needs to find himself. Uh, he always needs something to be motivated by. When that does happen, I mean, you have an extremely talented, gifted player. And I knew that at linebacker. That's why he was one of the first guys that I asked Coach Gonzalez, could I take him and have him at linebacker? And now when, once we got Coach Rodriguez and we knew it would be a four down, it matched up. And when we put them two guys together in the, in the room together, uh, the cohesiveness happened right away. And now you've seen that on the field. I mean, there's, you know, listen, we all know the, the special talent that Tyler is. But again, it comes down, when you put your mind to something like he has this year, he accomplishes whatever he wants. Any other questions? All right, thank you.